Okay, good morning. Here we are in uh, cloudy Mont Tremblant. Um, just looking up towards the Panache uh, ski bridge. So when you come off the bridge, you come along the edge here on a gentle slope down towards uh, this block of Fort Panache. Um, as you can see, the snow has melted considerably. We've had about three days of straight rain. And they're talking about another 25 millimeters later today. Um, this little cluster of four is nice and private. It's isolated uh, down here facing due south. Um, and the property we're going to visit is this corner unit uh, where my car is parked. It's number 631. The uh, two units uh, adjacent, the 633 and the 635, the two center units, are uh, rental pool, rental pool, rental units with uh, Tromla Living. And uh, the uh, owners of Tromla Living obviously have a good idea of uh, rental demand and how things are going here. And the far unit actually belongs to a uh, executive with the Power Corporation and who is very seldomly in his property, Mr. Orr. Uh, I'm going to go in through the main entrance a little bit more glamorous than the uh, garage entrance. Walkway to the side of the building uh, towards the east. Nice private entrance where we see no neighbors uh, to the side. As you enter, for people who know the Panache well, you'll notice first thing is that all of the moldings have been painted to be monochromatic with uh, the walls. Nice little touch. Uh, powder room at the end towards the garage area. A lot of storage here, washer dryer on the main level. Extra storage up here. The garage has been customized. Uh, the owner wasn't using the garage for car, it was really staging ground for skiing. Uh, big skiers. So what they did is they've actually shortened it and created this extra locker, put a wine cellar. Clearly their priorities were lifestyle. And they've got this locker in the back, which is about six feet deep. That they, uh, they did. If somebody would prefer to use it again for a car, that uh, locker could be shortened. And um, you could actually have both where you probably have a two or three foot deep locker and uh, gain the extra space needed in the garage to bring a car back in, assuming it was a regular sized car, not a long SUV or anything like that. All of the uh, HVAC mechanical gas lines coming in, radiant floors, all uh, neatly tucked away in the garage. As you come into the house, original ceramics, unfortunately, um, but the kitchen has been uh, worked on. Uh, they've repainted all of the armoires, so again, it's monochromatic, very tasteful, uh, nice countertops, uh, gas cooktop, range, all very nice. Uh, they redid the backsplash. Uh, the corner units obviously benefit from all of the uh, great sunlight when it's sunny. Today is very cloudy, unfortunately. But you've got the big wraparound decks, nice dining area, and the cathedral uh, in the living area, which makes it feel very spacious. As we go outside, uh, gas hookups for the barbecue. We're facing the south, uh, winter time. We've got very nice views of the lake. We've got the sun at this point in time, it's about noon. Uh, right in back of the house right now, behind these clouds. Um, wintertime sunsets will be right around there. So nice sunsets uh, through the winter. And as the summer progresses, the sun will set further and further north. Uh, and actually into these trees, which will uh, block your views towards the lake in the summertime once the leaves are on the trees. Very private outdoor living area here, uh, which offers all kinds of uh, possibilities. These uh, screens, which can be closed early in the season when we've got mosquitoes and black flies, 
and then uh, left open as the uh, summer progresses and we no longer have uh, mosquitoes and black flies. Um, going back in the house. Um, the listing is currently showing as partially furnished, uh, exclusions list. I spoke with the broker. There's obviously some expensive and very personal artwork and so on and decor items. But besides that, I think that some of this could either be negotiated in or it's being taken into consideration with their uh, pricing strategy. Um, just walking this way here. Looking back. Natural wood fireplace on the main level. Let's go upstairs. First bedroom is the master bedroom. Uh, you'll notice that the nice bright corner window here views to the mountain. Winter time, you'll see the top. We're in the clouds right now. You'll have to see whether the gondola is running. Being up high gives us great views again in the winter towards the lake. Very, very clean, nice walk-in closet. Hers dual sinks, nice jacuzzi tub, glass shower. And you've got two other bedrooms upstairs. Again, because of the way the property is positioned, we've got a lot of privacy even to the front where you're looking, those properties are significantly higher up. Got the nice stone wall, so you've got topography working in our favor. Um, nice bedroom that actually can access directly to the bathroom, which can be accessed for the other bedroom as well. Some people have put a door on this one to make the toilet private to the shower area to give a little bit more flexibility. And the second bedroom upstairs. Again, uh, these extra windows, which you get on the corner units, make a real difference. Very nice. Reasonable storage. A little closet here for linens. And then let's make our way downstairs. As is the case in all the panache, all three floors are radiant uh, floor heating, uh, which I can feel at this point in time under my feet. Uh, the downstairs is carpeted. The carpet is in okay condition. It's actually nice and tidy. There's just this one area here where the furniture seems to have been uh, left on directly on the uh, rug and it's caused some uh, indentation but uh, the den is really nice they've done some built-in bookshelves very uh, well thought through whether or not this uh, furniture configuration is ideal for rental or not is worthy of discussion uh, but nice with the dual french doors makes it very open the bathroom which is here which is a full bathroom uh, serves these two bedrooms First bedroom here, very nice uh, sliding doors to the outdoor deck and where the hot tub is. Nice with a with its own cupboard. The last bedroom downstairs is quite small. Uh, in my opinion, would really benefit from being converted to some type of a bunk bed, kids room, um, to make it a little bit more appealing. But nonetheless, uh, having a fifth bedroom is really a great feature. And these two doors are your HVAC system, so your forced air. This is 
system and the other components, all of the uh, radiant floor heating, different zones, where you sort of see how that plays out. And you've got one of these panels on each floor for the radiant floor heating. So there you have it for the uh, 631 five bedroom corner unit panache, asking price 1.25, listing says it's sold unfurnished, which could be negotiated. But in my opinion, really nice and clean, great location, uh, reasonably good ski and ski out, which I'll have to show you in more detail in a separate video. But uh, I think it's a, it's a really good one. Talk soon. Thanks for uh, your viewing.